All right, so now we are going to begin the writer um, DLC episode, if you will, of Alan Wake Remastered. And um, this is also going to be like uh, the last part. Well, obviously, it'll be in multiple parts, depending on how long we get through this DLC. But like the last like section of the Alan Wake Remastered playthrough, I guess you could say. Because they never remastered the, uh, the American Nightmare DLC that they made. So... Yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it. On Alan Wake. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After saving my wife from the mysterious dark presence, I found myself trapped in the dark place. Imagination can be the enemy here. A nightmarish world that exists somewhere beyond the shores of our own existence. We're the one making all this happen. Just do what Zane tells you. Follow the signal. Is all this really coming out of my head? The dark place strangers on you. I made my way across its ever-shifting landscape, trying to reach Thomas Zane. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You're still going deeper. Special feature to the writer. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really? Your delusions are out of control. Get out of my head. Seriously, Al, you need to get a grip. You know reality's different here. See what I mean, Al? What the hell? Ugh, I think I'm stuck on this side. Well, you're gonna have to find your way out of there. I'll wait. But just remember, you're still in the dark place. You know that, right? I don't want to alarm you, pal, but it's sink or swim time. Fine. I could feel the pressure mounting. Barry was right. Well, this all like a uh, freaking wheelbarrow book there. Dark, twisted version of reality based on my memories and thoughts. Hmm. There's a word over there. Ow! Did you notice that light? Might be useful. I noticed the light, thank you very much. Question is... How do I use that to my advantage? Aha! Swing it to make my uh, open. I had to accept it. If all of this was from my mind, then I was the one making all this happen. I was literally fighting myself. It was a moment of clarity. Okay. Well, that's a surprise, all right. Just to make sure there's nothing else I'm leaving behind in here. After finishing departure, I felt finished myself. All I had wanted was to save Alice. After that, a part of me had been ready to just give in and die. But I hadn't given up. Thomas Sane had reached me. I had run across a nightmarish landscape following a signal from him. He kept telling me I was sick of going too deep. I wasn't sure if he meant the dark place or insanity. 
Perhaps they were one and the same. Pump shotgun I will gladly take. I don't like that crunching. Hey, nice job, Al. So you really are nuts, huh? Let's face it, we always knew this was coming. I guess, but I actually feel pretty rational, all things considered. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. That's where they're crazy. Hey, check out the light show behind the lodge. That's Zane's light. Yeah, you're done sinking now. That means he's just about caught up with you. You better go talk to him. All right. I thought they give you the pump from the jump instead of you having to like uh, constantly shift around for it. Oh shit. Oh, so it's like a twisted version of the freaking song. That's just great. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This sounds creepy as shit. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, okay. Let's fucking drop a TV on their head. That was easy. The fuck? I don't like that stomping. I really don't like that stomping. Whoa. See, Al? This is classic you. Always making things complicated. This is just a memory. Even your memories are complicated. Uh, yeah. So, I guess... Uh, need to talk to Zane out there now that he's... Hey, there are useful words around here. here. I'm just gonna, you know... Let you non-imaginary people talk in peace. You're not coming? Uh, Zane. You have done well, Alan. Now I can accompany you. You are trapped in your own dream. You must wake yourself up, but first, you have to reach yourself. The cabin. Yes, I gotta retrace my steps. It will not be easy. Your previous work can help you. I still have some pages of your manuscript left. Words like that have power here.
rock, 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 rock boat. A lighthouse? It's very appropriate. I can help you reach it. But after that, you will be on your own. I cannot enter the cabin now. The dark presence made sure of that on our last encounter. Damn. You are facing yourself. The parts of your mind that are hard to control. This is not a fight anyone else can win for you. I should probably hit this hit the far one first. Okay, that's different. Um Okay. I was glad to have Zane with me in this place. He knew the terrain such as it was, but a part of me wondered if he was even human anymore after so many years in this place. Shotgun shells, perfect. Um. The world was God, that was close. It was turning upside down. Wake was lost. He would fall. He couldn't tell which way was up. Oh, Jesus. Well, I tried. <laughs> At least checkpointing me here. The world was tilted. It was turning upside down. Wake was lost. He would fall. Far. Okay. Go. Coming up on the path. And jump. Oh, hello. I am very pleased to make your acquaintance. Almost knocked me off, jackass. I guess this thing again. Go! Holy shit! I 
I should jump, not swan dive. <laughs> but it could still kill me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Alan, 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 chill, 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 chill. Well, I'm gonna have to jump anyway because I was already at a spot where I wouldn't be able to reach the path that I wanted to. So. <sighs> I think part of that was my fault. Other part was just like he stumbles when he tries to. Does it again? He stumbles when he lands, so like he goes forward a little bit. Last thing part of it is just me trying to center myself. Yeah, that was that was my fault. That was definitely me that time. <laughs> I'm gonna try to land on these beds. I pressed the jump button, he didn't want to jump, he just wanted to fall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Memory, but it could still kill me. There we go. Um, Alan, chill. Oh, you why did you walk forward why a oh, why a oh, why did you walk forward I'm just glad that the checkpoints are actually forgiving <laughs> facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger, like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal. Roll. We know the word roll means now. Okay, let me reload here. Any ammo or anything around here? Not that I'm seeing. I don't think so.
That was definitely too close for comfort. Load the revolver again. Figured out my strategy. They are very forgiving in the freaking, um, the supply department. I'll give them that. They are very forgiving. I just need more flares and then maybe also a flare gun. Are not able to. Oh, let's try this. Let's uh, break the boulders here. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so my theory was correct. So, I'm supposed to drop a flare into the the thing here. Yep. Once again, they are very forgiving in the ammo department. <laughs> uh, goddamn TVs are in my way, though. This way? I don't know why I thought the TV's like the whipping angel of this. Hey, yeah, guess what? Oh my god, it's like a giant keys on a typewriter. What 
the shit? Talk about retracing your steps. This is very creative. Very creative. Just uh Okay. Okay, now we're in the well that room or by the wall room, room door now we're gonna make our way up did I just I can run up to it. There we go. Alright. That's everywhere. Now it's gonna shift. I mean, backwards it is. Yeah, so the arrow is pointing. What is it pointing up this way? Or is it pointing towards this door? Because I just went to that door and, it, and then I went back. enough for me to get through it. Almost. Almost. Okay, go. You see, like...
the arrow's pointing here, but then you go in here, and this is where the, uh, the wallet room is. And then I break my legs and die. Huh. Well, I'm definitely going the right way, so I mean... matter of landing on stuff that'll break my fall. And that's where I just came from. I'm curious, um, can I do anything with the door once we're, like, at an actual proper position? No. Oh, wait! Haha! -ha! I was right! Sanity. You're doing well. Keep going. It's hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place. Yeah, this is actually a very creative stage so far. They're completely alien. The dark presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the dark place. I haven't found a way. Well, I got a trophy. <laughs> Stucky's gas station. Not something I particularly wanted to see, but obviously I wasn't the one in the driver's seat. Another memory made real. Blake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him. His own doing. Nah, he I'm gonna keep the, uh... Win. He didn't even want to! Can I keep the pump? At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. Okay. Oh, charming. Where'd he go? Oh, he's stuck behind the car. <laughs> well, I solved that problem. Or not. You know, I don't even care if that hit me. Help me get those guys off me at least.
worth it on there. I have no idea why I'm picking up the hunting rifle ammo when I don't even have the hunting rifle. Now we gotta go back. Let me reload here real quick. the whole clip, but I'm not really complaining. to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you call Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? Yeah. I am not the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed. And you needed the clicker. But I am not. What? I don't understand. Ellen, you should keep going. Zane? Zane, come on! Well, that cleared things up. Oh yeah, totally. I thought I was going to get smacked by that chain for a second.
Like a coming near, near me now, huh? Back up and reload. They just blatantly walked into it on their own. I didn't even have to, let's check one right here. A moment, I can help you here. How the hell are you doing that? The... Thank you, Zane. It's like learning to control your dreams. There's a connection. Yes, I taught you. You fixed the foolish mistake I made with Barbara. Again, still no clue why I keep picking up the uh, the ammo for the the hunting rifle. I don't even have it. <laughs> Or why it even let you pick it up in the first place if you don't have it. What the hell kind of hop was that? <laughs> Yeah, there was too much going on all around me at once. There was no way I was going to be able to f figure that out. What? Anyways. Oh, you piece of...
There's too much shit happening all around me. Damn. If that was not the most chaotic section of the game. Wake ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. Even with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. What the fuck? I don't think I invited you onto the rock with me, but sure. Oh, this shit again. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough. I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which combined with your chronic insomnia... I realize it's him, but it's like the alternate him with the TV control. on his head. That's a dangerous combination. And he's not just talking just to a TV. Has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I, I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but well, um. No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Hmm.